Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando here with my pets and pet peeves, hoping you'll join me in a wake up cup of coffee. Our new American pastime. You people refuse to understand pack and us. We're the victims thrown under your Harvard bus, going through beer and the motions, most drowning in tea, staying high on hate's repetitive notions, telling it like it isn't, like Gary Southern hiding in plain sight from northern slogans. We need arms extension to complete our cold, dead hands. Matters not urban plight, concrete hard beneath our feet, or people and elders alike succumbing to plight of West Virginia forest cheat. We are bankrupt victims needing to bust out of smoke-filled rooms in roach motels or treading backwater to heroic sin, finding those our guns tell us have done us in. Tell it to the children of our sisters and brothers, just another twisted chapter blowing in a Connecticut wind, like streaming education prejudiced by if only when. Our vision blurred by big screen TV news or tiny screen devices, we seek final solutions in a Navy Yard crisis. Tell it to the cokeheads who pretend patriotic friendship from within, plying us with the streets drugged in, or sheep dung scented moonshine promising no government is best for our kin. In lockstep with millions blind and deaf to a world all a swirl, both squinting and wide-eyed at smartphone edge or stooped over a half-eaten pizza bread. So militia drugged in our head, feeling deserted until someone ends up dead. Tell it to nine-year-old Christina Taylor or 22-year-old Jared Lochner, united in a Tucson parking spot by an NRA absent of shame yet overflowing in commitment to gun shops selling a lot. Gun in hand, whether Wall Street traders or street gang baiters blurred by hunting potluck, we take them all shot. Some have bully power to close big bridges. Others, money for cliched politicians, paving public office connection toward exempt private tax collection. Knocking at left-behind doors, to be sure, are greedy hogs and corporate whores, pushing gun power into our right hand, promising salvation in hunting humans like the Klan. Tell it to the families from Columbia back to Columbine, LaPierre and other swine, a Sure, no background checks at gun shows is just fine. Until once again, gun rings out in our head and ears. Not on TV, but the sum of all our fears. Now living by the gun, the slaying done, those needing to comfort their powerlessness with powerful arms at their fingertips, we holster for a replay of sharpshooting media quips with nothing new to say. Divided, we descend ever further below, contributing to corporate profits for those in the shadow. Tell it to the carrying crowd, so sanctimoniously Second Amendment proud, hawk defiantly gnawing parents and teachers of the dead, heads now resting in public shroud. Tell it to Aurora, moviegoers, texting or not, guns are not the only solution we've got. But as long as guns are the marketed accessory of choice, backward myths, education void, and computerized devices are our only voice. Accessibility to weapons busy dealers sell, and too little accountability for masculinity, marketing puppeters as well makes easy access for us all to be shot to hell with an average of one school shooting from university to Sandy Hook age every other day not counting malls and theaters by the way, may be what blows us all away tell it to the NRA smiling over increased sales of gun supplies making their happy new year over our dead eyes tell it to moms demanding action armed with dreams of what might have been and tearful foreshadowing passion. Tell it to them with boycotts at Wall Street Towers. Tell it to the government with rings of parents and teachers encircling corporate propped powers. Telling truth is simple. Guns don't kill people, but people with guns do.